Hello once again, this is Dan Houston for the Christian Entrepreneur Network. What it takes radio and uh, the Master Entrepreneur iPod radio broadcast. And we've just been helping people recently discover that they can use the power of the podcast as a way of building their business in 2020. And we're back. Today is the 7th of January, and I've actually discovered what I think will be a little bit of a new idea for every new year. And what I call it, yes, shut up on the 7th. That's right, shut up on the 7th. Now, I don't mean to be rude or crude, but let me briefly explain to you where I'm at. First of all, it's been busy. It always is. Uh, life, family, and business. Uh, we start, obviously, with the Thanksgiving holidays. Again, my favorite holiday, but then things get busy as we move through December. The uh, end of the year is coming, but of course there are the Christmas celebrations and all that goes into that. Uh, for many people, the Hanukkah celebration, and then of course uh, the New Year. So we not only have the family and friends and partying and celebrations and uh, the church events of the year, but we also, as businessmen and women, as entrepreneurs, we have to give some thought and uh, take some time to think about and pray and plan for uh, the new year. And we have to be connecting to people and saying thank you for your business and perhaps uh, approaching them with new ideas for the new year. Yep, we've been very, very busy. And now we are about one week past the new year, which means that uh, there has been the uh, weekend... <laughs> that brings the uh, celebration time somewhat to an end and now as we approach the first full week after the new year we are really at it that's right the decorations are coming down they're probably all down by now or you wish they were but you know that from now on you're going to have to be a little more intense and a little more serious about getting back to work and getting back to business and that's exactly where I'm at too spending time doing that However, one of my mentors challenged me just recently with something I've known and uh, have practiced from time to time. And as a result of that, I do have this new idea, which I simply call Shut Up on the Seventh. One of the secrets Jesus knew was the power of getting alone and just being quiet, being silent. So to speak, uh, kind of just shutting up. Now, not shutting down. In fact, uh, gearing up mentally and spiritually and emotionally to receive, to get some of God's special wisdom, some of God's creative power, to find new ideas and new insights and perhaps new ways of living, to search the Word, to search the world, to search our own hearts, to look into the uh, world that's all about us and the businesses that we are seeking to make happen. Yeah, to be quiet. So uh, it's time to be silent for a while. And so what I'm going to encourage you to do is to join me on being a little more intentional about uh, shutting up from time to time, uh, taking time to be silent. And I'm not saying necessarily praying, unless you understand praying really is listening as much as it is talking. You see, I'm so busy. I've got so much noise in my world and so much commotion in my world. I realize that uh, I probably don't have enough time just for God's still small voice to come into my life and business unless I get real intentional about uh, gearing up, but shutting up, that I'm spending some time, maybe some significant time, uh, just being silent and waiting and listening and seeing if new things come to me. And I'm discovering that some of my best times, some of my best ideas, some of the things like being silent uh, come to me when I'm just being fully alive, fully present, and fully silent. 
So I'm going to be doing that in a little more intentional way starting today and uh, throughout the rest of the week. But then I'm going to try and be more intentional about seeking a way and a place on most days and whenever I can to just be silent and see if I will have not only renewed energy, but renewed enthusiasm, renewed ideas, renewed strength, renewed courage. Just could it be that in the uh, shutting up and being silent, that there will be new power and energy that will come to me. That's my challenge for me. And I just share it with you if you want to agree to that challenge too. Uh, perhaps we should talk more about that as we uh, go into the new year because 2020 is going to be a significant, I guarantee you, it will be a challenging year. All the indicators for that challenge are there. And so there's a great deal of uh, opportunities, but there's going to be a great many obstacles. And we will need to be more than conquerors. And perhaps we just need to spend more time being quiet and listening to the master entrepreneur. Just some thoughts. I'm Stan Houston for a What It Takes Radio. That's the company that can help you. For uh, the Christian Entrepreneur Network, tcenglobal.org. And for this program, this iPod radio broadcast called The Master Entrepreneur. Until next time, until soon, after a little bit of quiet, we'll be back. Bye for now.